things that we things. think may be valuable, uh, historical, and have some meaning to it, and then, you know, maybe there's something someone just donated, you know, for fun, or they were just being... Well, a lot of it was donated when the school was first being, in the, or in the very early years, when the, when the school was first being built and at the turn of the century by the Matheson families, the Blow family. That's the wild stuff. Yeah. But then there's other things that have been donated through the years. And we even have, um, there was a, a copy of one of the first um, diplomas, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, just a lot of different things. There's, there's canvas art, yeah. there's paintings that students have done, um, there's it's such a like, it's such a collection. There's such a it's variety. Yeah. Like, well, you know? One of my favorite things actually, because I don't remember whether or not we did it in high school, but mm -hmm. when um, with new staff and new teachers that get hired, we have one part of an orientation day where like we get a half hour or 45 minutes to walk around the school and look for certain historical parts of the building. Um, like the plaques on the walls and um, like the three-legged horse and the oh, mural the above the library. That's favorite. That's favorite. Um, the Latin inscription yeah, down nice. here on the ground, that kind of thing. So that I became more appreciative um, actually when I became a faculty member. Well, the Matheson family is responsible for building the auditorium, but several of the paintings, especially the ones in the light, the, like we said, oh, the ones that have a lot more, you know, wow to it, they are uh, donated by the Matheson family or relatives of the Matheson family, descendants of the Matheson family. Some of these have, some of these were up and then they were taken down when they did some remodeling and painting upstairs. Some got put back up, some didn't. Some I remember from being up a while back. We haven't decided how we'll decide what items are gonna go where. Right now we're in the initial stages of just identifying what we have um, and what exactly, when they were made, you know, what the stories are behind them, what the common themes are. Like that database we were talking about, we have to have all of that. We feel at least a good understanding of what we're working with before we make our decisions. The no winter oil. scene. And it's a gift of Mrs. Matheson. Fifth Avenue, New York. St. Patrick's Cathedral, near St. Patrick's Cathedral, or Mr. Stay. Stay. It says the priests at the mosque, um, original watercolor given by Mr. and Mrs. Francis um, Kilduff to the school as a memorial to Mr. McCormick. You know, when I first started here, like seven years ago, just blindly, you know, wondering about some of this stuff, I found out that the artist over here ended up moving to Europe, and I think he was a prominent filmmaker at the turn of the century, and he's an LP grad. Um, and the painting itself is originally from 1657. Um, to 1747. French Impressionist painter around the turn of the century. Um, don't know a ton more about it, but I mean, it's, it's pretty, it tells its own story. You know, the, the poor fisherman who is going to try to put it together one last time. So. That's a painting. So many treasures in this school and so you know we're hoping some time to do uh, you know looking down the road getting everything documented and maybe doing a little gallery and the community can come in and see it and be kind of neat.